Ah, Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for you at top. What is good, everybody? Hopefully, y'all are having an amazing day today. I got a lot of news for y'all. It's kind of crazy. I mean, that crazy. So, very quickly for my people who have not found out by now, eBay will be doing an authenticity guarantee for sneakers in the early year 2021. Now, this is big because if y'all don't know, a lot of my OGs out there, shout out to all my OG sneakerheads out there. Y'all know the vibes, bro. I used to buy all of my shoes from eBay hands down. All my shoes. Actually, I started my sneaker collection using nothing but eBay. If you want to be honest, eBay was the wave before anything was available. Oh, that's on me, bro. That, that, that's on God. Now listen, back when I was copying my kicks off eBay, it was very sketchy because I, you never knew if you was getting fakes. But this is way before fakes was like as good as they are now. So you still had like the preconceived notion of knowing that they were out there, but it really was never like, you know, a big thing like it is now. Plus back in the day, you would just look at a person's feedback positivity, rather if it was like 98%, 99%, it was like a certain percentage I wouldn't buy. If you was lower than like 97, bro, I wouldn't even buy from you, I'm just being honest. eBay knows that it's a lot of money in sneakers. I mean, they have to, they wouldn't have made this move if it wasn't, because eBay is more than just shoes, man. eBay is like, honestly, I feel like Amazon was what eBay used to be. You can buy anything from eBay, whether it's like appliances, uh, toiletries, like, like whatever you want to buy is on eBay. What makes eBay pretty cool is just like the ability to bid and buy. So like if you wanted this sneaker, it'd be like a time limit and you can go in for a bid. I've got so many steals, still from behind me right now that I got on bids. For example, it'll be a shoe. I know y'all didn't do this before. Comment down below if you did this before. Only my OG eBay guys will agree to this but i ain't gonna hold you it'd be times where like say if a shoe was going for a hundred dollars and it's really only worth 300 say if a shoe is worth 300 dollars but right now the bid starts at a hundred dollars and you've seen nobody has bid it on it yet and it might be like five seconds left i promise to god i will wait for that last second bro and i'll put like one-on-one -on -one <laughs> to get the shoe so many steals like that you know, it'd be like $100 or buy now for $300. If I don't see no bids on it, or even if I do see people bidding on it, I will literally wait that last second, slide my bid in, game over. So many buzzer beater dubs that way. That bring me back, bro. But yes, man, the conversation of the day is eBay will be doing authenticity guarantees in early 2021. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and read this tweet that I just showed you guys right here. It says, <clears throat> let me get my uh, Floyd Mayweather together. Authenticity guarantee for sneakers kicks off early this month and by early 2021. All new and pre-owned collectible sneakers sold on eBay for $100 plus in the US will be fully vetted, verified by independent industry authenticators. So, first of all, hey, shout out to Snipe, man. I can read, I can read. No, honestly, so how they're gonna do it is anything I believe over $100 will be authenticated by third party industry. So I'm not sure who these third party industries are, Hopefully they talk a little bit more in detail about who they're gonna be because I mean, honestly, it does matter who's doing a legit checking. It makes no difference if you just got eBay people who, you know, just help out with customer service, checking shoes. So it does matter who's doing the legit checks. But at the end of the day, this is a huge jump because this makes eBay right back in the middle between GOAT and StockX because right now to this day, eBay still got a lot of good shoes on there. I'm just not gonna buy from them, bro, because I don't have to worry about the hassle of buying a pair of fake shoes if I buy stock X or gold, or if y'all want to put it, I know sometimes they still get let fakes go through, but the hassle isn't, isn't as high, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry as much as I would if I have no third party whatsoever. So when it comes to sneaker like this, man, like a Travis Scott one, I mean, you see these all through, okay, eBay. And I'm gonna be honest, bro, I don't know how soon you guys want to start buying on eBay because I'm gonna be honest, bro, it, people gonna be people. As long as they're a way to get money, there's always gonna be people trying to scam. So by eBay being newer to the community, by having legit checkers, it's gonna be some people who test them. They're gonna, they're gonna see how good they are because I'm pretty sure some people who just can't get past StockX or just can't get past Ghost authentication, they're gonna try eBay. You know, and maybe if eBay, once they start swatting them away, I'll be, you know, more relaxed. It's just not something that I'm willing to start right off the bat. You know, it's almost like when you update your iPhone. Okay, whenever you update your iPhone, if you do it ASAP, you're gonna have bugs, you're gonna have glitches. You might wanna wait before you update it. Same thing with like getting a PS5 or an Xbox Series S. Shout out to everybody who got their pre-orders and got their, you know, theirs coming in in late November. But we all know 
the first ones that come out usually always have problems and they get recalls. And like the third and fourth batch is really the best ones that hold you over time. That's pretty much how I feel about eBay. Yes, eBay will be having this authenticity screening and every shoe over $100 will be authenticated, but I'm still gonna give it some time before I leap and start spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in eBay because I just wanna see how it plays out. You know, I wanna look around, talk to the community, talk to y'all. That's why I make videos like this so we can have discussions about are you, are you feeling safe with eBay having legit checkers? I mean, it does make me feel more safe, but like I said, man, I think it still might be just a little bit more time before I start fully invested in my money in eBay. And I'm not really sure, cause we all know you can file claims on eBay. And that's one good thing about eBay, at least for the most part, you buy through PayPal. So your money is pretty much safe. So even if you can still open files and open cases on eBay, if they can somehow guarantee your money back if it slips through, it, it'll make me feel a little bit better, man. I'm just happy for eBay. I'm happy for sneaker collectors like me, uh, for you guys as well, because it just allows us another platform and another way to be able to buy our shoes. I mean, the way I look at it, competition is great. And the reason why I say that is if it wasn't for Burger King and, and McDonald's, Wendy's wouldn't have no 4 for 4 You get what I'm saying? I feel like the more competition out there, the better deals the consumers get because they have to compete to one another. And in order to compete with each other, they have to give us something that nobody else has given us. So that gives us deals. You get what I'm saying? Burger King came out with the 5 for 5 only because Wendy's got the 4 for 4 You get what I'm saying? We get options out here because of competition. And when it comes to sneakers, I'm all about that. So now we might get eBay coming through a lower price for sneakers. You get what I'm saying? And that will probably cause eBay to lower their price, right? Because their business is going down. It's all a ripple effect, man. It's gonna be great. I think that this is a great move. I'm super excited. Um, anybody from eBay watching this, hey, look, you might need somebody to be an influencer for the eBay wave. If you do, hit my hit my line, bro. My IG and Twitter link down below, I ain't gonna hold. But nah, honestly, man, this is a huge, huge move for eBay. And I think that this will be very good for us as sneaker collectors, especially for my people who just wants to go another route. Um, I'm not sure if they still gonna have people bidding or if they still gonna have like the buying process the same. I guess they would, in my opinion, because I mean, as long as you're still buying that sneaker. Now, the only thing I guess to, to wonder about is, I mean, the wait time, how long it takes third party companies to be able to legit check shoes, tracking of course, um, things of that nature. And I guess that would just have to wait until we find out, you know, that will have to wait the test of time to figure out if it's worth going against. But I mean, like I said, man, still, I think it's a great move. I really wanna know what you guys think about this move. I think I've been very vocal about how I feel and just think about like the positive things that can come from this. I always try to look at things, you know, both ways. Like I said, these legit checkers gotta be good, okay? That's the downside. The downside is, yeah, okay, cool. They can get legit checkers, but how skilled are they? Where are they finding these guys? Like, who are these people legit checking shoes? I don't want the people from customer service that answers the claims and, and, and typing you back on, you know, eBay help. Legit checking my Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. I just don't feel comfortable like that. Now, if you find an actual people out here who's actually, you know, in the community, uh, know about sneakers, know about legit checking shoes, and I think it is a great move. You know, like I said, competition is great for us because it only allows us more opportunities to be able to get more sneakers and a bigger platform. So, I mean, that's how I'm feeling about it. I would love to see how you guys feel down below, so make sure you comment. I will be going and looking over every comment down below in the comment section, and I will be replying to all you guys as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new, man. We are super close to 70K, and that's on that road to 100K, so hey, I appreciate it as always. Until next time, man, it is your boy, Snapper Jones. You know I cannot leave without saying everybody wanna be famous, but who really putting in that work, though? Snap Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.